Kit Bash Customs. Uh, materials I use, I use Model Masters acrylics. Uh, this is, so I know this is flat black. I have all of them painted on the top, so I know the colors and everything. But I use Model Masters acrylics. I use Vallejo uh, or Vallejo, however you want to say it. I use v Vallejo, Vallejo. I, I even use some Tamiya sometimes. <laughs> only Tamiya I have, only because that was the first thing I ever bought. First paints I started with was Tamiya, didn't like them. Paints I graduated to was Model Masters. I actually went to this first, Vallejo first, and didn't like it. It's too, it's really chalky and it rubs off really easy. Uh, Model Masters is perfect, 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 perfect paint. Sometimes in a lot of cases, you don't have to clear your customs. A lot of cases you don't have to sand joints a lot, a lot. It depends. Everything depends. But I love this paint. Some people like Games Workshop. Some people like uh, Tamiya. Some people prefer Vallejo. It's all preference, really. But I prefer Model Masters. Um, and then the sealer I use. A lot of people use Krylon. But I don't like Krylon. It cracks. It cracks. It sprays weird. It doesn't. I don't know. I don't like Krylon. There's another one. I think that's Krylon the times, too. And I don't like it. It, it, uh... It doesn't spray right all the time. I use Mod Podge brush on. It's, uh, it's like Elmer's kinda, but a little bit more durable because it's for crafts. Uh, well, it says water-based sealer glue and finish. So I guess it is like Elmer's, but um, it's it's white, starts white, but it dries clear. Um, it works really good. I used it numerous times, I love it. I just started using that this year though. I used to use the spray on. So first I'm gonna show you the of new punk storm from the new x-men wave i kit bashed uh, um i actually made a fully customized one fully fully customized version but i didn't i liked it but once i got this one in my hand i liked it a lot more and i was gonna kit bash that custom with this one but uh i like like i said i got this one in the hand i liked it a lot more the only thing i did do was boot swap because the she didn't have she had these big feet and these these boots i didn't like they didn't they weren't punk rock boots to me so i swapped them um the boots these boots are from Nico Monroe. Uh, good figure. Uh, uh, really good figure, actually. But um, I took the boots, and when you take these boots off, this, she doesn't have a swivel. She has, like, a, a keyed peg. So I had to dremel these out and super glue them in. But they look good. She stands good. And now she looks really punk rocker. I just got to find her a switchblade, and uh, she should be good to go. Next up, I want to show, because uh, I do customize a lot of things. I did this Mezco... Uh, Deadpool, I swapped the boots. I didn't like the boots on the original one. They were the feet were too big. They didn't he didn't have any ankle pivot, anything. So I swapped them out. I painted them. Uh, they were gray originally. I painted them black with the red and the gunmetal. It retains full articulation. They're not glued in or anything. They they swivel. They don't come off. Um, they still have all the articulation up down ankle pivot and he like he pivots now like not like before before he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to pivot like this if i can get him to stand he might not because he might nothing works on camera but yeah before he wouldn't be able to do that so yeah i just swapped the boots on him i love it i, lo I love the figure even more now i liked it when i first got it. it was my first mezco and it was amazing so i uh so oh yeah i crossed the swords too because i didn't like the straight up swords they look weird yeah, I crossed the swords on them too. I just dremeled out. I dremeled out the bottom sheath here, this one. Just dremeled it out, a channel, and then glued, super glued the other one in. Looks pretty good. Gave him a crazy face too. But yeah, he looks pretty good like that. Another one. Uh, this is not really a custom or a kit bash. It's more, well, it is a custom because I did it. But I, I got the idea from someone on Facebook. He was showing a bunch of his work. Was it Facebook? Yeah. He was showing a bunch of his work, and he had, he had this death set too. He put a wash over the whole figure, and it, it just looked amazing. So I just stole an idea from a guy. But it looks looks pretty good. Death's Hat 2 looks pretty good as a normal figure, but he looks even better with a wash. He looks even better with a wash applied. This Punisher. Um, this is the Walgreens exclusive Punisher. Um, I, I got these arms and the legs. I swapped the legs from the thigh down from uh, the Netflix Punisher. The, coats. the coat is from... I want to say Nick Fury. Yeah, because it's gray, because I painted it black. It's from Nick Fury, I think, or whoever had a gray trench coat at the time. And this this is from the KO uh, uh, Deadpool. I can't remember which one it was, but the older one with those sucky ankles. 
But yeah, I wanted a Punisher. I wanted a trench, trench coat Punisher versus the classic Punisher look. Uh, Taskmaster as well from the new Infinity War wave. I think this is wave two he's from. But yeah, I took a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but a few things from uh, pictures, internet pictures and comic book pictures. But I, I took this sword from Angela. I had a spare Angela, so I cut the... I cut her little tunic up and her belt, and I took the sword. I got this from a Once Upon a Time figure. Uh, was it Robin Hood, I want to say? And this cape's not going to be permanent. I just put it on because it looks better with the cape. I'm gonna, I want to get a wired cape for him. Get a wired cape. Uh, get him going. But, yeah, I like the way this looks. It looks a lot. Oh, yeah, I added the straps, too. I added this and this with uh, some some little rubber. Um, not rubber. Leather. Leather. Uh leather straps I got from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something like that. But yeah, um, I like this figure a lot more now with the extra stuff because he only, he comes with a sword, but I don't like his sword. It's the same sword, sword Baron Zemo comes with and it just doesn't look all that good with him. So I gave him a sword and a sheath. He doesn't have a sheath, so I gave him a sheath. But I'm going to give him some arrows. He has a gun too. He has a gun too. So I'm going to give him a little bit, a little, few more weapons and, and a cloth cape and he'll be It'll be all situated, but that's Taskmaster from the Infinity War Wave. Uh, Kit Bash was a few other figures. I also have this guy I've been working on for a while. Uh, Jigsaw, Punisher's arch nemesis. Uh, Kit Bash, his head is from, uh, what is his name? Dirk Anger from, well, Nick Fury. If you have the Nick Fury figure from the Giant Man Wave, he has a few heads with him, and Dirk Anger's one of them. Pretty much just take a, you take a, a razor blade to the head. I put a uh, epoxy sculpt in the cuts because I made some deep cuts. So I put a epoxy sculpt, put a red wash on it, and then and then painted it flesh tone. This revolver's from uh, Misty Knight. I like the revolver. I had him with a regular nine, Glock 9, but I like the revolver a lot more. I don't know why. Don't don't ask me why because it just, just looks better to me. He looks really sinister holding that. I might put him on the Ross body because I like the gray suit more than the blue. Blue's a little cliche. Gray seems more his his style to me. I'm not sure, but yeah. I tried to sand down the feet to make him stand better. I don't know if anybody has this figure, but he stands like crap. He likes to fall back a lot, but sanding down the feet kind of works, but not really. But again, that's for a tutorial. Anyway, I painted the, repainted the hair, painted the face, uh, sealed it with Mod Podge. I painted this with Vallejo. I paint. It's easier to paint faces and flesh tones with Vallejo, I found out. Way easier. And then I have uh, also two on the side here. I have Aries. Uh, I weathered him up a little bit. Uh, modded the neck as well. I, you, I modded the neck and I swapped his legs. I didn't like the, I don't like why I hate, I despise wide jointed hips. So I swapped those out. There was a video going around on YouTube. Uh, guy, there's two videos, a few videos. One guy totally cut this off and put a swivel in here. I don't want to do that. Another guy, he just trimmed the back of the neck out. And what it does is, if you have this Aries, what it does is, this Aries looks down like this a lot. If I can get that on camera. He looks down like this a lot. So when you trim out the back of the neck right there, it allows him to look not all the way up, but it allows him to look straight. Even with the helmet on, he just looks... He doesn't like with the with the regular release. He just looks like that. But if you dremel out dremel out the back of the neck right there, and you like you see you can't see it with the helmet on anyway, so it doesn't even matter. He just it gets him to look up a little bit. But I, I weathered up his I weathered up his uh armor a little bit, put a wash on the brown parts. Uh, um, I got these legs from a I had an extra I had a few extra nukes because Walmart had a sale, but few extra nukes so I swapped the swapped the legs painted them painted them black and he retains full articulation uh dremel out the bottom I have to fill this in don't mind it I had to do the same thing I have to do the same thing on Punisher but you for it to this will be a for a tutorial dremel out screwdriver pop it open swap the legs over super glued them down swap the swap the legs from the regular Aries to this one heating up the joints and he, uh, I don't know, it just looks better to me. It looks a lot better. I want to give him a big gun, but I don't have one like that he could wield yet. The swords are cool. I have to find a spot for his knives. But yeah, that's uh, that's my Aries custom kit bash that I did. Uh, I just did this one like a couple weeks ago too. I don't know if you can see the ones on the bottom here, but let me show you something else. 
I also have this red skull I did. It's on a, um, what figure is this? Is this Demolition Man? Yeah, it's on Demolition Man base. I just painted it with some uh, Model Masters, like some zinc green and zinc green leather brown with a wash. And I painted these silver. And this head is just a direct swap from the, is there a red skull? I think that's a red skull. Well, yeah, there's a red skull because I got the head. But it's not the um, Abomination Wave. It's the older one. The older red skull with the same body as Nick Fury. I like that one more because it has better detail. The other one's like plain and red and weird. But I got this belt from Demolition Man. This is from Shatterstar. Uh, this is from well, Nick Fury. The Red Skull has one too, but Nick Fury also has one. But I got that from Nick Fury. And I just put, I had a trench coat, but I didn't like it. So just repainted, uh, dry brushed on the feet so, you, so he can have like uh, scuffs on his boots or not. But yeah, just painted them green. And I, I was going for a classic Red Skull look with this one. I really like it. A lot of people really like this one. I put it up. A lot of people love it. A lot of people love that one. I love this one too, but he just looks really sinister like this, especially with this guy, my, my kit bash, Captain America. This one, this I think this is like one of the one of the first ones I did too, one of the first kit bashes I did. But um, I just took uh, I had was it the three pack Captain America with his belt? I took his belt, his harness, uh, three pack Captain America belt and harness, uh, Marvel Now Captain America head lower arms, lower legs, or knees down, MCU cap shield, and the uh, um, onslaught wave cap, upper arms, torso, and uh, for the knees up. So this is about three or four Captain Americas put in one, and to me it makes the, it makes the best Captain America, especially next to him. Like, you get, you get a few different versions. You get ultimate, you get, uh, you get ultimate, you get the newer style, old school style. It can be whatever Captain America you want it to be. It fits in with any, it fits in with any shot. But he looks really good next to this Red Skull. These two complement each other really well. And speaking of Red Skull, the Hydra Two Pack out there, I uh, kit bashed this this guy right here. I call him uh, I want to say Hydra. I'm like a Hydra Recon Soldier, you can say. I really like it. It came out a lot better than I thought. It's on a Brother Voodoo base. These are the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool lower legs. Uh, Demolition Man lower arms. And that head from a... Uh, this this gun is from a uh, a model kit. The head from the Hydra 2 pack. The vest is from the Hydra 2 pack as well. Belts from uh, Captain Britain. And this holster and gun are... This holster is from Phantom X. The gun is also from a Halo model kit. The knife is from Deadpool. But uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. I was gonna paint it black to get rid of these markings, but once I painted the, it's a pearl, dark pearl green I have. It's like a translucent green. Painted over that white looks really, really good. This is uh, my custom overdrive. He's a he's a kit bash. He's a kit bash of a few figures, a couple, three figures. Uh, you got Spider-Man Noir body, cause he's already black. You got Daredevil lower legs, uh, Netflix Daredevil lower legs. And are these Moon Knight forearms? No, Daredevil forearms as well with overdrive hand. I mean, with uh, Spider-Man Noir hands and uh, Invincible Iron Man head. I painted, uh, painted it silver, left the silver on the sides. And I have a Model Masters uh, chrome, so chrome uh, blue I used. Gun is from whatever Star-Lord, MCU Star-Lord. I sculpted the barrel. Added those with a toothpick. Painted it black. Uh, put model masters on there just, just to tone it down a bit because it was a little shiny. This is uh, my custom X-Force Forge. Me and me and my, one of my uh, friends on Facebook, we consult each other a lot on customs. And he did. He had an X-Force team he posted, and I liked it. I liked his X-Force team a lot. So I uh, started my own. I'm not going to show them all right now. I'm going to show one more. I'll show them. I'm gonna save them for another video content, you know. But um, yeah, he's Kit Bash, Demolition Man body. This the armor's from the old three pack Ultron. Leg is from the three pack Ultron. This is from Shatterstar. Belt from Shatterstar. And this is from uh the three pack Captain America belt. He he has a lot like it's the same belt from this guy. I just cut it off. He has a lot. This belt has a lot of stuff hanging off. 
I don't really like it like that, so I cut it off. But yeah, I uh, glued it on the pouch. I glued the pouch to his leg, and I kept it brown. It looks, it looks phenomenal. This is uh, Doctor Strange head, Dirk Anger uh, visor, or uh, scouter piece, you could say. The gun is from, was it Winter Soldier? The first Winter Soldier figure? Painted with Model Masters. Uh, the hand is from Shatterstar as well. Painted with Model Masters. Uh, I didn't seal it at all. No paint rub, no nothing. Demolition Man's already black, so I didn't have to worry about it. Another X-Force I have right here is Wolverine. I think this was one of the first ones I made. No, I'm lying. I'm totally lying. X-Force Deadpool was. But he was the second one I made anyway. He, um... He was, he wasn't as hard to make as I thought because I got the X Force pieces in the trade, which is the the first X Men Wolverine, which is from what wave is that? Is that Puck? Is that Puck or Hit Monkey? Whatever wave it was, I didn't like that figure. I don't like why I, I despise why joining hips. But um, I got one in the trade. I swapped the elbows down. I swapped the swivel here. I swapped that because the regular Wolverine swivels anyway. I want to say I swapped it from the knee down though, because the the standard Wolverine, his his uh his calf cut is like shaped in, and you can't swap one to it. So I want to say I swapped from the knees down. But yeah, painted with Model Masters, no joint rub, painted from uh yellow to black, painted over to black with gray, no paint rub. I sealed this one though because I had paint rub initially. Painted on the X Force, the belt from four uh not forge the belt is from demolish man you know last but not least uh my crossbones here this one is a few figures as well i th this is this one was crazy because this one came to me one night i was just chilling and i wanted a crossbone but i didn't want to pay for one i didn't like the big one so i made one this one's from a few figures like you're gonna see as i explain to you right now so head is a casted head from ebay the chest harness slash pouches are from uh, Nuke. Took them off Nuke. This is from Netflix Punisher, I think. Does he have a holster? Yeah, Netflix Punisher, gun and holster. I think that's, that might not be Netflix Punisher. That might be Bucky Cap's holster. Uh, the This is from... Oh, Knife is also from Nuke. This is from... Um, Pigeon Venom. He has the same belt as the three-pack Captain America. Lower legs are from Sam Cap from the three-pack. These are from the three-pack Captain America. The, the upper torso is from MCU Thor from the movie, from Ragnarok. Hands are from Moon Knight. Gun is from Netflix Punisher. There's a few figures here. There's a few figures here, like, and they really came together really nice. Like, I got a lot of love on this one, too. I, this is one of my favorites. Like, this one. And then he looks really good posed up, fighting somebody or beating somebody up or whatever. He just looks phenomenal. I painted the head myself. Uh, Model Masters. Model Masters white, gloss white, and uh, Model Masters flat black. Oh, I didn't even show you this one. My Vulture I'm customizing, too. These wings. This Vulture is one of my favorites now. I just did this one, like, two, three weeks ago. It's one of my favorite customs now. It came, it came along really nice. It came along really nicely. Like extremely nice. Anyway, wings are from a WWE figure. The pack is a pack with like a vest and a jacket and wings and all kind of stuff. And this is the Ultimate Vulture from the two pack. Uh, painted the collar white, dry brush gray. I have the head right here. I was making a making a like a rebreather or whatever, but I sculpted a nose with look crazy, so I'm gonna redo it. Um, didn't paint anything but the wings. I painted them lighter. They were black. I painted them a light green dry brush and washed them all. But yeah, this is just tip of the iceberg, you know. Reviews, customs, kit bashes, whatever you want to see. There's a kit bash cable with the Marvel Select cable. Uh, repaints, whatever you want to see. Bash customs.